so today I'm so actually so I know I'm doing a little video for quite I've been so busy but I did have time to make some fidgets, some DIY fidgets. So these are some, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna show you guys how to make four DIY fidgets. Here are some ones we're gonna be making today. This is my craft thing over that. Oh and this one. And yeah, this is a really bad angle, but so so I actually just made these today and it's like three o'clock. So um, I think we should start with this one because it's one of the easiest. You could kind of just do this with it. So you, uh, you need a pipe cleaner so I just cut it already but and some beads. So luckily I have a lot of beads because I like to make this a lot. So So let me scoot these ones over. Uh, okay. And here's my reference thing. You just need to that and then you just grab beads of some sort and put them on here. Oh, I'm gonna aim it a little bit here. I've never done a, a DIY. I don't think I've ever done that. Maybe. I, I've never done that many DIY, DIY videos or anything like that. But I. I, I like fidget toys now. I've always wanted one, but I never my, I never actually bought one because I've never had time to really buy one. So I decided to search on YouTube DIY fidget crafts, and I have watched a lot of videos. They got a lot of ideas, and that next one inspired me to do my own. So you, I kind of get colors and add it on here. So let's go. I have so many random beads in here. I don't know why, but I'm just kind of grabbing these type of beads. I don't know what these are called, but these types of beads because they fit on here really well. Or you could spell things out. So, or you could spell things out because I actually did that on mine. I put BFFs, I think. I just wanted to put BFFs, which I thought was really cute. And it has like you could do this this one in different types. Okay. Oh god, I already am level three in this. Okay. Um again more colors. Wait till it gets to about here. So I'm just gonna So and I don't some of these I improved by myself because some of them were just very weird and didn't exactly just like they didn't look and I didn't, you know, I don't know. But. So this is about good enough. I don't know. You could do more, but and you could situate it, and then you could do this, ah, which I really like. Or you could even do this, and then you could kind of just move the beads around, kind of a little bit if you want to. So is this one done? Now next is gonna be keys. So what you need is straw, some type of yarn string, and tape. Oh and beads. Okay, so I'm gonna go Now, what was that? The first thing I, or you could actually you could use rubber bands like I did on this one, but you can't really move it as much. Or you could do that, I and mean, this one you could do this. So I don't know. But, so, I'm gonna aim down here so I can open oh, this, it's gonna be backwards. This is my best. There you go, it's my phone case. Okay, so I'm gonna... Okay, I know I don't know how to aim and glue you, okay. Alright, so you can just get the string, you tie it to a knot, or double knot it, and the words on the bathroom. Oh, so words on the bathroom are just really loud and weird. So, you could double knot, you could knot it like this, you could do it, you could do it twice, and so like bump here and one around here. Then, what I do, 
sorry about the noise, I don't, I don't like it at all, but so I get a tiny piece of tape of scotch tape is what I use. Well, I can, or sometimes I use this, it's still scotch tape, but I use boxing tape, so. So you just kind of tape one end of it completely shut. Like, look, it's shut. You cannot see through it. Um. Oh, you kind of can. <laughs> I was not supposed to look that well. Okay. So then, what I do is I just kind of just grab random beads. It's much sure crew though, but I just kind of, not random beads. I just grab, yeah, pretty much random beads, actually. Oh, one just died. Okay, so I just grab random beads. I'm still all, about to the halfway point. Maybe a little more than halfway, but I don't want to fill it up too much, and you can't really make noise. No. Oh, it's got beat stuff in there. Some things. Oh, this is a good beat. I like that beat. Um, and then I have these kind of small ones. Oh, what did die? Okay. And I have this is all not even organized, but I'm just kind of filling it up. And if you could see, like, you could kind of see where it is, because it'd be just kind of dark, and like, my color is actually yellow right now, because it isn't the best color, but beads are literally going everywhere. I'm going to go over all the beads everywhere now. Okay, um, oh, I keep putting my stupid around beads now. So about to here, if you can see, about to there, then, just carefully sit down. Yeah, I'm not to say. Tape the ends. And if you want to, you could do these pom poms. Because I have two of them right here. Which actually one of the crafts. And you could put them on the ends. Like this. To, and have them cool. But I'm not going to do that because I like I, I like the pom poms like they are. Oh gosh, I got some of the stuff for some of them. Oh gosh. Oh, there we go. Look, you could do that. You could do this, make an instrument out of it, or you could do this. Taking creepily to walk by me. Um, my next one will be probably these actually. I'm not trying to add the added to it. Okay. Um, grab some string, yarn. Whatever. Um. Oh gosh. So you got. So do pom poms. What you need is really scissors, yarn, and yarn. I don't know. So you put two fingers like this, and it was the end. Oh, hold up. And start wrapping. So kind of leave your fingers slightly open. But you have to go do it. But, um. So, I took the end of my string though, but, um, so I, you would cut the end of the string off, okay, I do have a lot to cut off, but, um, when, when you feel like it's tight enough, cut it, okay, then why you, you get a piece of string, oh gosh, and you cut, this is going to be my piece of string, because that is a, a couple inches long, you put, oh gosh, not going to work out, ugh, the string, the end of the string, stupid, okay, um, and you're making so much noise. So I'm gonna grab the end of like this. The end of it did not make sense. Um, why are you doing behind me, Kaden? It's not. It's showing my hands right now. By the way, tight tie once. So, see these little loops? So, of course, you want to cut the extra self string, but still, see the little loops? Kind of. You need to cut those. Make sure they're all cut. Oh my gosh. Wait, wait. Okay, I'll just cut it. The push string to side. So, what the heck? Do, it says hair in the back. Okay, so the, then you want to, like, so this is literally like a pom pom. Like this. So you're gonna have to trim it. 
give me a trim it, give it a haircut. There we go. Give it a really nice looking haircut. Give it a nice. It's gonna make a mess though, but now it looks way more. If you want to make it more look like a fluffy pom pom, do this. And then look for more. Oh, Disney look. There you go. Now it looks a little more fluffy. Now I have three different pom poms. Okay, now I'm gonna scoot you, scoot this over. So now, my, my very last one is this very good stress ball. You can add whatever add ins, and you need glue, which I don't know what glue is now. But you should remember you use clear glue, but I don't, have, I don't have clear glue. So that just means I don't. I don't know. Ooh, I, can, mm, I have an idea. Okay, so. A nice dress ball. So I'll be back when I have my stuff. Okay, so now. Gosh. A video from the Custer Bowl the Spider. In a bag. Okay, so. I have a bag. You can add in whatever you want. And I actually want to use my craft box this time. To grab. I'm going to use these, of course, because I like these, to grab some of these, like, sequiny things. Some of these. I see the pink in here, some here. I already pink my other one, so I think I'm going to use orange. I don't know if I'm using orange, but I'm going to use it. Oh, I don't think I, um, googly eyes see a pom-pom, I thought that was cute. Oh. Okay, so I guess this is my only, this and bees are my only thing about me today. Actually, also use, I'll also do some red, though. Just love the red. There's a random Christmas box around. And I could use it for crafts. Look, it's a little dog in a bath of sock. It says Merry Christmas. I don't know. So right now, first I think I'm going to add my little sequins. Because I don't know. I, I just want to add my sequins first. Whoa, way too much sequins. But there you go, there's my sequins. Well, there's already red sequins. Now it's time to add my orange. I don't have glitter though. I can not tell. I don't know where my glitter is. Oh gosh, this is so yummy. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna put some orange. There's some sprinkles of orange. Now I'm gonna put it back in my craft box. That is kind of cool. Ooh, beeping it. Oh, not beeping it. It's like. Okay. Oh gosh, it looks so much like it's on top. So. so now I just have some sequins in here. It looks kind of plain and boring, but it kind of feels nice. Okay. Let me open it, and I'm just gonna grab. Some types of beads. Just handfuls of beads. Oh no, these are gonna be good. Okay. So I'm just gonna add quite a few beads and my won't lie. Oh, there's a show, and I need to put this in my glue show. So right now, I really just have this, which is actually kind of feels really nice, because look. Okay. And next, to make it, like, really a chef ball, there you go. I jumped through the wood. You need to add some clear glue, but I only have Elmer's glue, but that's white. Also, this is what I'm going to do because I have white glue and I don't want to just be plain white. I think I'm going to add a couple of drops of pink paint right here. Just to make it a little bit colorful. Well, I'm going to open it until I don't make a mess, but... A little bit of pink, not too much, because I don't want it to be too much. And if you, if you do add paint, 
Then you will need to squish it all together and make sure it's nice and mixed. Also, you will need to dip glue for itself. I think I need to add a little more glue in here. Doesn't look like enough glue. Half of it doesn't even get glue, so I'm gonna add a little more glue. This is really cool because every time I don't have any balloons. Every time you're stressful, it, you, you mainly needs balloons, and I don't have any balloons, so this is perfect. Oh, now my Elmer's glue bottle is actually almost out. That's great because I use this a lot for crafts, especially that mother, especially that Mother's Day craft that So shut it perfectly, squeeze it all together, get it all smushy together. Now it seems like a light pink color, or most of it is. Okay, now what I'm going to do, so you actually need all the air out first, but push this all the air, shut it, and then start twisting it, like this. Then you tape it, where's my tape at, over here, tape it, shut it. My I'm in the other tape now, but you tape it or staple it, but I, I prefer using tape because, because, so look, now, I have a really cute stretch ball, and you would cut above the tape, off, maybe, there you go, now, this is a trash, now what's this, it's a stress ball, that is really cute, it's a really cute Mother's Day thing, I feel like, it's like ombre in the middle, I really like. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze this now actually. So, bye guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.